Hi guys, how's it going? My name is Chris, this is Robotics Gaming, and this is the Code Vein Strength uh, walkthrough. Um, so, finally got back around to doing it. So, uh, I think I mentioned at the start of uh, the previous video that I had uh, had some issues, had a power cut, I had to re-level up uh, another character. Well, guess what? Same thing happened again. Um, so, yeah, and it... Again, that was like another power cut and we lost a whole load of data from that as well. So it kind of put me off for a while. Um, but now I've kind of got over it, built another character, got up to the same point, And I think, I hope this is a, uh, it should be exactly the same stuff um, <clears throat> on this character to where we left off. Um, so currently um, we are with, uh, we've got the Atlas build. Uh, we've got some skills. Uh, Two-handed sword mastery, stamina boost, guard stability, resilient focus. Um, the, the the passive gifts for the active gifts we've got adrenaline, shift in hollow, foul blood barrier, um, tormenting blast, guard reversal, flashing fang, and that sonic arrow. Um, so yeah, I think we went ahead. So we fortified the Zweihander and the GX Imperian plus three. I don't think there's anything else that we could that might be a little bit better. Um, we could reduce our weight a bit. Um, but then it kind of messes around with some of the uh, resistances. Like this next boss is she slows. GXH Assault plus one. Uh, I don't know. We'll leave it with this for now. This is meant to be a kind of like a, a, a sort of easy guide uh, to get you through this game. We've gone with the strength build because uh, I'm pretty sure, like to me, this is the kind of easiest one to go for. I am gonna go. I'm gonna change support character actually. We're gonna go with uh, uh, Yak Yakimo. Yakimo is gonna assist. Um, And uh, like I haven't even leveled up yet on this. Okay, let's get going. So if I move my head a bit, I don't know if you can see. So we've got zero haze. So I think we've had like one or two attempts at the boss, and it hasn't worked out. Make sure you're good and set before we go. <laughs> um. So yeah, zero haze. Uh, now before we get into the boss, this is a kind of a good. Let me just show you the farming route. If you, if any of you guys are struggling. Uh, for this boss, I'll needed some extra haze to get some upgrades. Uh, then there's a kind of there's an easy farming route to this. I should probably practice the buttons. It's been a while. Let's ignore that thing. All right, how do we how do we run? At R1. Um, so yeah, if we there's a little route and you can kind of see them all. Oh, that's bad. What's lock on? Lock on. Damn. There we go. Yeah, I'll let uh, Yakimo deal with that. But yeah, it's been a while. I probably should like go straight into the boss since it has been a while since I've done this. Um, so yeah, so you can kind of see these guys hanging off the ledges uh, as soon as they start to move up. Just take a swing, knock them down. And it's just going to generate some easy haze. Um, if I can remember the locations, I think there's one not down here. There's one over there. So it's going. Um, where else is it? I mean, you can even let Yakumo take these. These guys are, but they're not too much trouble with with Atlas. I think I've gone a long way around. Like I don't even know where I'm going at the minute. Uh, so that's not a great help. There's one over here. Yeah, I just kind of like went through the middle. Um, these are the starting stairs over here. Let's so see. Yeah, maybe you could do a bit of uh, a better job than me doing this. Pick up 
got something we can use? So yeah, we've got the like the two-handed sword. It's slow. Uh, this one kind of it's got the overhead swing. Uh, so it's not a side swipe. Can we do it? If we pr if we press the uh, heavy attack, then we get side swipe, which gives us a little bit more control on where we're swinging. Uh, so you just do a run. Actually, no. If you do a run and attack, it's still straight down. If you run and stop, then heavy, you get the side swipe. Uh, but yeah, this is kind of like the little route anyway. Yeah, I think we've taken out all the monsters, uh, all the enemies that we needed. I'm on my way. And then we just run back. But yeah, I kind of didn't show you it properly. I think we're taking out this guy. Uh, but yeah, sorry, I probably should have practiced this before. Um, But yeah, and then there's that guy as well. We can take this guy out. He should be a, a biggie. Let's get that queen iron. Uh, so yeah, so anyway, that's the little route. How much haze does that give us? I need to move my head again. Uh, 8,436 haze. Um, just a nice little song. Um, so yeah, and you can just literally just come back here. I don't want to get uh, eaten by those meatballs. Um, and you can just run back here. And yeah, you can find a bit of experience to level up if you wanted to. <clears throat> I'm just going to put like how many levels we can get up to level 10. Brilliant. Perfect. Okay, so we're up to level 10. We're on Atlas build. We've got Yakimo now. Um, so let's see if we can take on the boss. Down here. See if it's any easier. Um, uh, so yeah, so this boss can... She can be easy, but then she can also be really tough. Um, it's just kind of learning her, her move sets. Yeah, which will be the same as every boss, really. Because um, the thing about Code Vein is like, uh, the, it has an easy, a hard mode and, e and an easy mode. Easy mode is by running along with a partner. Hard mode is extremely hard, um, and there's like very little room for error. So you have to really uh, learn the uh, the boss, the boss's moves. Um. Is that all I got? I've just got that one attack up. Okay, let's do it. So yeah, we're just gonna run in, get some hits off. Yeah, also as well when the boss is kinda like Um That's what we wanted. Yeah, when the boss is uh Good. Can we keep going? We got this. Yeah, when she's charging up. So let's move back here. Uh, what's my heater down for here? <clears throat> uh, I hope we can do this. I don't know. If Like, obviously that doesn't help. Um, give it as that. Luckily she's going over there. So, uh, Yakimo is really great for bosses. He takes a lot of uh, aggro off you. Fuck. <laughs> Until we die. Then we get the res back. And then Yakimo's been defeated. Let's back up. So, but yeah, she hits really hard. And she is gonna take a lot of our stamina down. And she got the double swing as well. Okay, so we're down here. But you can see, just from having uh, Yakimo at the start, it takes away the aggro from us and we can get some big swings in there and get her into second phase really quickly. Um, 
So yeah, as I was trying to say, as a as a melee build for this, it's kind of we're slow. We've got the big sword. If we if we start dodging, we're gonna lose a lot of stamina. If we start blocking, we're gonna lose a lot of stamina. Um, so I think the best Hold way on. to do this is I'm to bait out her attacks. Um, so yeah, if you're in close range, she's gonna do the she's gonna kick down and hit you with magic. Yeah, I believe it's magic anyway. Like or she's gonna do the like double swing. He can parry those and stagger her. Uh, just for a little bit to get an extra hit in there. Um, but what I like to do with this boss is kind of um, if you if you have her at long range, if she's focusing on you, then she's gonna do the spell. If you have her at medium range, she kind of does like a a lunging attack with a weapon, and that's kind of the perfect opportunity to to roll in, get an attack, and then roll back out. Uh, let me just show you. If we stay about here, books on. She's gonna do it now. Just roll in, hit, go away. Attempt to roll away. We didn't get ourselves much space. But yeah, it's kind of meant to work like that anyway. But can we knock it down? We can. She's going into second phase. Yeah, so for this part... I forgot I've got my other skill as well. Uh, this one. But yeah, you just kind of need to dodge through those. I think she's going to do. Because those spinning attacks hurt a lot. Just try and get healing. I want those, I'm just trying to get something to go. Yeah, we've been slowed. Oh, but yeah, also try and make sure you've got stamina to actually block her attacks. Just kind of wait until your time to go in. Just stand in. Stand and stand up, move away a bit. Get a bit ground, get a heal. Should have a spell. What the f Okay, I thought we would have had that then. Uh, okay, she staggered. Let's get some hits in. Get that hit in. She's going down. Um, so yeah, so that was kind of sloppy, <laughs> but we managed to do it. I think like most of the time you're going to be kind of in that situation where, uh, especially if you do it with a partner, if you're not that experienced in this game, so you're going to be in that situation where it's going to be kind of, you're not going to be able to get these things done perfect. You're just going to, you know, whatever you can get is brilliant. Uh, but yeah, we didn't seem to have that much trouble with that one. Let me just skip these. Um, just, just one kind of death. Um, but yeah, that's the benefit of having uh, Yakimo in your team. He is the kind of, he's the tank, so he's going to take a lot of aggro from the boss. Um, so yeah, so it, I, I kind of, with the partners that we have at the minute, it's kind of, Mia's recommended for trash clearing. She's very strong, uh, but she's weak. She, uh, you know, she'll go down really fast. Uh, Yakimo is the big tank. He'll take the, uh, what was all the threat off, off you and kind of uh, tank the boss a bit. Has got a bigger health pool and survives longer. Um, Louis, 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 um, is is again is a medium is between the two. Is not so much a tank. Is not so much main deep. Uh, yeah, it's a little bit of both. A bit of a tank. A bit of a DPSer. Uh, he can take some some aggro off you. He can also do some damage. Um, but yeah, kind of like the medium choice. So guys, it's kind of up to you. Like personally, I'll prefer to have Mia for trash, Yakimo for bosses. Uh, and we got the Fion Vestige one. Okay, anyway, that one's done. That was kind of quick and easy. Do we have any more upgrades we can get? 
Uh, we kind of we seem to have got all of these. I don't know if we need anything just yet for this build. Um, I don't know if we can get anything yet. Let's just have a look, see if we've unlocked anything from here. <coughs> um, but yeah, th this is going to be just a, a run through of the game anyway. So, like anything that you get from the the deaths, uh, we're, pro we're probably not going to cover. We're probably not going to need or cover that um, up until. Uh, we get to the final boss. Uh, from that point, we'll uh, we'll see what happens. I'll kind of leave it up to you guys uh, to decide if you want to see anything else. Um, but what are we doing? We are restoring vestiges. Let's see if we got any here that we can do. We're missing Prometheus vestige. That is for. I don't know. Um. But yeah, we can kind of repair these. Strength Dexterity, Orion, Savvy Evasion, Deft Parry, Strength Dexterity, One-Handed one Sword Mastery, Dexterity Up, Blood Sacrifice, Vivification, Hunter Feast, Eternal Blade Dance. Do we need any of these? Uh, Merciless Reaper, Strength Vitality Up, uh, Stun Trap firm, firm Stand. So these ones at the end. This is all probably Sath and Set. Uh, you know what? I don't think we need anything yet. I'm just going to carry on. Because we're pretty pretty badass at the minute. We just managed to take all those out. Um, mm -hmm. uh, so now we need to go the opposite way. Let's have a look where we go to. So we've done Howling Pit. That's cleared. Next we go to the Ruined Sea. Yep, and we're going to the parking garage. Uh, and this time we're going to carry on from where we got our Zweihander. There's uh, there's two more bosses down this down this way. So hopefully we can uh, get to another one and do that. Um, I don't know if I should be having any more buffs at this, this stage, at this point. <coughs> um, I think we got the attack up. Day I think that's kind of all we need right now. Um, but yeah, as well, you all notice on the map, there's kind of like quest givers uh, for these areas that I've opened up. There's one right at the start, so we can do these. These these give us uh, extra rewards. I think there's there's two on the map right now. Um, but, I mean, we'll come back and do those if we need to. Um, but yeah, I think where we are at the minute, we're good enough to, to carry on for the next few bosses. The vestige there. I don't know who's... Oh, I was very misjudged. Uh, but look, we've got Yakimo. I always meant to swap back out. Don't run off on me now. Oh, let's see if we can get up there with him. Choose your ground well. Oh my, I'm just doing that. The the big attack. I'm meant to be doing the smaller one. Trying to take out some of these. Big hits. Okay, let's get this. This is on the vestige D. I feel like the one over there is part of the vestige, the hunter. Um, sure, let's go back and quickly get this. Uh, just so we're not missing anything out down here. Bring it any time. Let's 
because I'm backstabs. Then she's go off, and the next ones are just ones that I don't know which ones are. There's a few uh, a few ones that activate this guy. Uh, when you swing at them. Stand out like a sword. Look at that damage. That damage is nice though. I think that's it. Um, and then we've got this guy to take on. So what's my... I'm still trying to figure out the buttons here. I can't remember what my lunch was. There we go. It's a uh, run and quick attack at the same time. Yeah, which is a very nice attack to have. I'm just going to go for this guy. He's going to be the one that takes me down. What are we dodging for? That was a fight. Uh, why have we been playing on present circle <laughs> to pick up? Okay, it's not that's... working. I think it's fancy star. Uh, Prometheus Vestige C. So yeah, that's the other part of that. Uh, so yeah, just quickly running back to get that. And we're gonna continue. Um, so I don't believe we picked that up in the other in the other playthroughs either. And we've got some items over here. You have to take whatever you can use. Um, so we do have some defensive abilities on here, which can be really useful, really helpful. Um, but I don't know. I, I don't like using them a lot of the time. Let's uh, try one out here. If we can. I don't think we need to. Um, yeah, if you're fighting this lady, do not get this side of her because she can knock you flying all the way back and knock you off the ledge. Um, so yeah, if you get that, just, just don't risk it. It's not worth it. Whoa, okay. That didn't work. Let's get him off guard. Let's open it up and see, shall we? My claw. Can we get the, uh, the block from her? Yeah. Oh, shit. So <laughs> always the thing, you know, when you just, like, press the attack button and they just press it at the same time to see who can swing. So we took a little bit of damage from that. We kind of... Can we, like... Yeah, we can't roll out of that either. Once we've uh, committed... There's no backing out, so we just tank the damage. <sighs> I'm still keep rolling over those <laughs> instead of picking them up. Uh, I'll get used to it at some point. So there are some extra items down here. Some que uh, Queen Iron. Let's activate this bad boy. Um, let's rest. Get some health back, get our potions back. Our healing items. And let's just click that again for some reason. You have to take whatever you can use. Statue. Kevin, Kevin was a boy who could take it home with us. That's a real gem. Rathias Vestige, Part D. 
Um, so we'll come back to there a bit later. I absolutely love that ability. Zoihander. Um, so let's, let's go down here. Hmm. I was trying to go back around there. I didn't get the guard off in time. Uh, Prometheus Vestige Part B, so I think that's all of. Uh, actually, all but one. Which we will get after this boss. Oh god, not feeling too confident about this one. Um, but yeah, let's just do it. So this one I feel is a bit trickier for uh What am I doing? Just standing there. Uh, a bit trickier for melee. Okay, she's going into phase two. She's gonna put a poison uh, ball out there. But yeah. no. I don't know what I get hit by there. Oh, do we have? Uh, okay, Yakum is down. Let's get to safety if we can. Very bad position to be in. Uh, I guess we just got poisoned. <laughs> okay. But yeah, there, there's a few things going on there. I mean, like, it's, it's definitely not the hardest for Melly to kind of do. Um, I had a lot more of an easier time as a as a ranged. Um, just because mainly it was uh, kind of like dodge out the. Take down. Uh, move out of the way when she charges and just kind of attack and that was pretty much it um, whereas like as a melee you've got to get in she does those uh, swirling attacks uh, I think she's got like two, three different combinations um, but yeah she's back off when she does that she's gonna do a Mr. Poison and try and roll through that. Oh, 
Ooh, she's got range. I'm just gonna recover a bit here because I'm just keep getting poisoned. when she does that swarm and stuff. Hopefully, if we do enough damage from this, we should be able to take her out pretty easily. Just want to get another attack in. But yeah, look, like this is one of the main reasons why I took this this ability, and it costs like one eye core. But it kind of vanishes. It gives you a bit more of a window than the dodge does, I believe. Uh, to avoid the damage. Um, I don't think I used it that much in that one though. Um, okay, I'm just at that that point. Oh, I don't even know like. Actually, let's just carry on down here. Uh, so yeah, this opens up a path uh, down the back. So yeah, so these are uh, these bonus quests. They're really like when the people show up. I think there's one uh, over here. I don't. The miasma clears. More revenants should return in search of blood beads. Um. Ignore that. We'll get into that a bit later when we see another one. Don't run too far ahead. Just a bit curious to see whether there's any kind of hidden maps or anything. No Does it look, look like there is? Another cutscene. Uh, this is where we actually get uh, Lua's final piece. Reveal a little bit more of the story. Nobody would want to relive that. Prometheus Vestige Part 1. Um, so I think that's all of his stuff. Okay, so actually no, I'm just going to leave it here. I'm going to leave it here for this video. Uh, in the next video we'll take on this area. Uh, kill the boss. And then... We're, we'll do all our stuff at home base then. Um, but yeah, we're, we're in a good position. We've got um, some nice abilities. But we're very tanky. We can deal some nice damage. Um, and that's it. We're good for now. Um, so yeah, uh, sorry about the wait, guys, in getting this. If you've been following along, 
Uh, again, apologies, but hopefully uh, you guys are going to stick around and watch the rest of these uh, these videos. Um, so anyway, that's it for me for this video. Hopefully see you again in the next one. Take care, guys. See ya.